Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? Welcome to today's video. Today we're here in a cool location down Pennsylvania. We're checking out this cool location called um, Concrete City. And this is a cool little village down here. Actually left all abandoned over here. It's all these houses just all around me. All throughout this whole field here. And all this stuff is just abandoned out here. Um, this actually was um, created in uh, 1911 and stuff like that. That's when they made all these houses out here. And they actually shut down in 1924 um, due to like um, plumbing and stuff like that. They had a spot right here that they needed to run plumbing to these buildings. And it was going to cost too much money um, to do all that stuff. So the people didn't want to, I guess, chip in and stuff to get all that stuff done. So they ended up leaving all this stuff out here abandoned and stuff. But it's a very cool location. Um, it's actually my first time. I'm actually going to go around here and um, check it out. Show you guys what it looks like the same way um, y'all going to see it. It's the same way I'm going to see it. So so I'm gonna go around here and check out all these cool buildings. Some of these buildings kind of look into bad shape, but there's a whole bunch of them. Some of them still look good. And I'm gonna go check out most of the ones we could. So let's go all around here and see what we can see out here. So some more buildings over here. We just got done checking out those two over there. And now we're gonna check out the ones over here in this corner here. All these buildings are gonna be a light because they made all these buildings with the same um, structure. Just got all these different graffiti and stuff. And some of them are just in better shape than the other. Let's go through here and check it out from the inside. This one actually has a basement. I'm not too sure who's down here. The thing is just filled up with water. Just frozen water down here. And this once people would have been living here. Gotta be very careful when we step in because all these buildings are actually collapsing. To the next floor down. That's where we came in at from down there. We got a fence that's all the way back over there behind these buildings. That could have been from when this area was um still active and stuff. Just very cool just looking out through here, seeing all these buildings throughout this field here. Most of these rooms are all the same. Somebody actually broke a, wall, a hole through this wall here to lead to the other side of the house. They actually got some steps here, but it doesn't go to anything. It just goes into this little dead end here. I'm not too sure what that was about, but most of the houses over here got the same um, design and stuff. So they all got like the same little steps that go up to this dead end. Next house, man. I can hear some ATVs and stuff out there. Somebody riding an ATV back over there. That's a, actually a trail back there for that. This would have been, I guess, a closet here. Start making our way out of here now. This became somebody's drinking room. But we gonna go down there. You can actually hear the um, ATV going over here. So we're gonna go down to the bottom, see if we can catch him. Show you guys with that thing. Looks like driving down here. This is a cool spot actually to come down to ride your bikes and stuff. So we right here on the other side of the house now. I'll show you guys before we head out. down to like a basement here. But this thing is just 
guess it's water underneath that thing, but it's just frozen and it's all like trash in there. I gotta step in there and take that risk. Not too sure how deep that is in there. But we're heading out the side of the other building. We're gonna check out the buildings over here. So just over here, there's another building I'm gonna go check out. And this one's kinda bad. Just up there, you can actually see it cracking. Right at the top up there. So we gotta be very, very careful on this one. And the bottom is actually flooded like crazy. You can see it right over there. I'm actually gonna step in here just to cross over. Well, this one's actually kind of bigger than the one that we just got done checking out. It's actually like tilting also. Saw this water down there at the bottom. It smells like some fresh spray paint in here. artwork throughout this whole thing here. It's the back of it, back over here. That's where the ATV rider was riding up there. There's a trail actually up there. And this thing just feels weird just walking on this floor here. It's so tilted. Real bad street. This one can actually go up here too. Hopefully this thing can hold us up. This thing is in a bad tilt. It definitely um, built this thing well built though for being 100 years old and still standing out here. And this one got the same thing, just a dead end with the steps going up. careful because I'm already seeing a lot of water that was over there and I'm not too sure this is part of it but just on the side over there it does have another puddle and then some more buildings over there but that building looks real tilted real bad I don't know you guys can see how bad it is on the camera but I think it's just leaning let's get over here it's kind of leaning to the corner over here and that's a big puddle on that one corner so we're not gonna go in through there we probably could get into this little corner here This one actually got more of the steps going down to the basement. But once again, there's another puddle down here. And that thing is deep. It's a lot of water that got in there throughout the time and stuff. But you can still see the little holes with the heater vents and stuff where they came out of. That's cool. This one goes up. We're not gonna go up on this one here. We got some cool ones all over here that we're gonna check out. They get a little bit bigger. 
So we just gonna check out the bottom of these and start making our way to the good stuff. Look at this big hole. The whole floor just collapsed down to the bottom. That's what all that in the bottom right there. You can see the half of the steps just hanging there. It's a dope scene right here. Very cool location. What I really want to get to is them buildings over there. You can see a lot of more cool artwork and stuff over there. So we're gonna start making our way over there now. Let's make our way back to the bottom down here. Um, it was actually an ATV driver that was making all that noise with the music. Um, he actually just took off somewhere back onto the trail. But had to start making our way back over here. You probably can see him back over here. Let's see if I can catch him. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you guys seen him. But here's one of them little side by side. Uh -huh. Little ATVs. So come on this side before we make our way down. Look at it from a different angle. And that's one big hole right there. It's kind of look like somebody kind of trying to blow this thing up. That's how the part happened here. Look at that building over there. That thing is crazy. Huh? I know you can't see the inside part from right here, but we about to go check that thing out because I can see what it looks like, and that thing looks cool. Let's go over there and check that out. Make our way down these steps. We're on the other side now. We run up through that side of the steps. We're gonna make our way out of here through this way now. And let's go check out this building. So that was super cool. Let me see if we can get to the other side from here. And nope, we gotta go back down these steps here. Put some light back over here so we can see. Actually, there's some more people out here. So I guess this is a little popular spot for the people that live around this area. More stuff over here. Let's go into the side. Let's go to the upstairs here. So these are the little rooms here. Just like the other side, hey, is it been in their bedrooms? Some small bedrooms that would have been part of the closet. So I actually have a hallway closet. It's another room here, some of the more buildings, and this thing just keeps going, wrapping around.
Let's make our way to the other side now, because this side so far, the buildings was kind of like the same. So we're going to start making our way back to where the cool graffiti I seen over there. At the front over there, just on in front of me. These buildings right here are all the same. Still was cool going in them and checking them out. And like I said, this is a cool spot for ATVs, four wheelers, dirt bikes, um, side by sides. We're back here on the main road, and this would have been the main road here. It's very muddy, so I came with the right shoes today. Came with some muddy shoes, came with my boots. It's gonna be a lot of puddles back over here, so I don't, I'm not too sure why I'm stepping on, so we gotta be careful. We gonna get our feet soaked and wet and get frostbite on our um, damn toes here. But. I'm just coming up here and there's some whole bunch more buildings throughout this little village here. Look at this big puddle that's right here. That's what I was talking about. I gotta be careful walking across. That thing is deep too. We don't wanna fall in there. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm actually not gonna go inside these. I'm actually gonna walk against this to get around that little muddy puddle that was back over there. This one right here, I guess I used to go paintball in here because you see all these paintballs all thrown out here. All them little pellets right there is all paintballs. Definitely a cool location to go paintballing. I didn't think about that. It's definitely a cool location because it kind of makes you feel like you're in Call of Duty or some type of game like that. You can hide through all these buildings here. Run around. Jump out of little windows if you want to. If you act, if you real active like that. But I didn't think about this being a cool location for paintballing because it definitely will be fun to be out here hiding between trees, running through other buildings and chasing people. Definitely a cool spot for that. But like these buildings are all the same over here. It's a newspaper there, but it's an up to date newspaper, it says 2019 on it. Like somebody was staying here, there's all this trash here. More buildings. And I'm gonna get over here to these buildings, just in front of me. Here's some people back over here. Some more explorers back over here. And there's a big puddle just up here that we ain't trying to get our feet. Right in there, but you gotta go right to the side and try not to slip in there. Look at that thing, that's a big puddle, we don't wanna fall in. Hey, how you doing? It's a beautiful day today. <laughs> Just look at all these buildings around here. Super cool. This one right here definitely got some more artwork on the outside of it, and it's more open. These are all the buildings we just got done checking out from back over there. I want to get into these buildings, start making our way around this thing here. So let's go around all this stuff, all this mud here. You gotta be careful because there's a lot of thorns here too. But instead of walking all that big puddles there, you gotta walk through all this stuff here. All these thorns. I better walk the thorns than be getting frostbite. <laughs> but just up here, getting into this cool building here. And I always see this big heart here with this big seven on it whoever is this person right here he definitely be all around because every abandoned place i go to i always run into this thing here 
Um, me and this guy definitely got to link up. He be finding some cool locations. So if you watching my video and you ever watch my video, you got to link up. You can find some cool spots. And um, all his artwork definitely looked like it been here for quite a long time. So he checked these spots out probably like a long time ago. Right now I'm in the back of this building here. With that big heart was um, drawing at. I'm inside the same little building there. And this thing just actually all just broken apart here. Steps going up there. It's, it's another basement down there. Oh, we got the flashing lights on. That thing just a whole bunch of trash on it. I don't think this one got water in it, but it definitely got a lot of trash. Yep, a whole bunch of cans and trash from all the visitors and stuff. Let's go upstairs on this building and then take a look from the outside. This one here is a more open field. We can look out. Just be careful because this thing is toting. Gonna look out this window here. That's everything we got to do so far. We just got done doing all that. Checking all them buildings out. We went into some of these buildings. We didn't do these two last buildings here. But we got into this cool building. And there's a few more to keep exploring on this side. So let's bang this thing out before we start heading out of here. Same thing like this side. Just a little simple room. I definitely gotta bring somebody with me that know how to do some um, good artwork and can come with me in these adventures. Well, some of my adventures and um, do some of these well with a nice little Rate to 4 adventure piece here. With some good artwork though, nothing like this. <laughs> this is horrible here. But, I mean, we're gonna work on a trail to do that. So if there's anybody interested and you know, I wanna look out and have some fun, I'll take you out to a cool location uh, with no charge. If y'all guys wanna do a nice little Rate to 4 adventure art piece, and I'll hook your boy up. And I'll actually video record it also. And put y'all guys on my vlog. And um, hopefully I'll get some good subscribers one day. And um, yeah, we could get somewhere in life. Like I said we, because all of my videos are for us. So I like bringing stuff like this so we all can check out together and stuff. But we making our way right out of this building here. And I'm gonna check out the next building there. And we might just chill in these buildings for a little bit and I'll just get a little break. But I'm back out here at the bottom. And this is a cool building right here. Right next to me. You actually bring a, um, a Jeep out here too. And do some nice little burnouts and stuff right here. And this thing can get real muddy. Because this is a cool spot for that. But I'm going to walk over here. And I'm going to go into our next building because we got a few more up here that we got to check out. So let's go check these out. And let's get in here. And now I'm gonna finish exploring. So all these like stuff here, like little packages. I don't know what that is. This one right here, people actually made it. So you can go on to the roof on this one. And we gotta check this one out. Let's see what this roof look like. It's probably not the safest thing to get on, but let's take a look. And some people actually been up here. You can actually see some footprints, but let's get up here. and put the tripod up. Get our stuff up here. And let's check it out. See what it looks like. See if I can get up here. We made it up. We are on top of the roof now. It's a dangerous location to be at, but just want to give you guys a nice little view 
of what this little circle, little village look like. It goes on from over here. Just take a little walk. Hopefully this roof will hold us up. I actually see some footprints up here. So people definitely came up here recent. It's actually concrete, so most of the stuff could be strong enough. And especially got some rebars on most of the stuff here. So it's actually gonna hold up a little bit of weight. But for being 100 years, it can't be too um, safe out here. <laughs> you always gotta be aware from every little noise we hear. They said it was like a playground or some some stuff around here. I'm not too sure. I didn't see nothing that left into like a playground here. But they said this place actually had like a little playground for the um, kids and stuff that used to live around here. But let's get down here again. Let's make our way back to the bottom. I'm actually kind of scared walking on this thing. So let's get back over here to the bottom here. So guys, you're climbing out of here now. Ugh, this thing is crazy. Very dangerous. I'm going to recommend that for anybody. <laughs> Definitely scrape my hands up a little bit going up and down. It's a rough little concrete up there. Definitely scrape my hands up, but be back here into the room. I know we're about to go check out the next building. Here, what is this here? Gun case, perfect, like a um, paintball gun or something. Can't be a real gun because it's plastic, real cheap plastic, so it's perfect for something like a toy gun. But a few more buildings we can check out before we start heading out of this building here. We're well, heading out this little village here and heading back towards the car. We're gonna check out these over here. see some cool artwork right here on the side here Let's take a look at this thing here we was up there on the roof just looking over a few minutes ago and uh, we just start hitting the side of this thing here it's my lesson spray thing here Definitely got some spray paint in there. And, um, this one also got some spray paint too, so you know what that means. We're about to get busy. So guys, I already put some of the paint up already. You know, I don't think we're gonna be able to get the whole thing, but we're gonna get that Ray 254 in there. You know, it says Ray 254. And we're gonna put a venture at the bottom here. Can't really see it here because it's very light, but Hey, we got a name up here. We got Ray 254 Adventure at the bottom. Let's go up here and find another spot. We still got some pink. We can still put our name and stuff here in a couple spots. I like the way this thing writes. Kind of makes me feel like I'm a professional. Uh, ran out of speed. They're gonna be able to tell what that is. We'll just do it right here. We go right to, right to our four benches here. The wall really doesn't stick too good. It's so cold out here. I'm just messing around with spray paint here.
I ain't the best graffiti -er, but we got our name in here. So that was cool. I actually started off over here. It wasn't going too well in this little wall here. So took it back over here and everybody got to um, walk in through the entrance here, through the side. And see this right to the four ventures. No, now we're gonna start going upstairs. Whoo, that, that spray paint got me a little dizzy. We're going up here, gonna check out these rooms. And this right here looks like somebody just blew this thing up. This room is crazy messed up. Just a hole through all these walls. That leads into you to the other house here. Somebody left something here. One of their hats. Somebody left a hat here. Thing just keeps going it's a lot more over there so let's go check out those because we're almost done over here checking these buildings out we're gonna start going down these steps here and damn look at the way this floor just collapsed here there's a big hole so we gotta be kind of careful <laughs> walking on that thing so we out of this building that thing just falling apart.
So guys, um, we are now making our way back to the car. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I definitely had a good time out here. I hope you guys had a good time watching. Um, this is Concrete City down in Pennsylvania. Um, it's a cool location. Definitely takes you right back to the early 1900s when this place was actually created. Um, it actually went abandoned in 1924, like I said in the beginning. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It definitely was a cool little location here. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys smash that thumb buttons up if you guys did enjoy it. And um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Turn on your notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next adventure because I got a lot of cool adventures coming. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And um, I'm just walking towards the car right now. So if you guys want to support my adventures and want to join the family, make sure you guys go check out that website, right to our adventures.com. We'll get your drip. We'll get your t-shirt, your hoodie. And um, come join the family. But we right here, not too far from the car. So I'm going to wrap it up here. And I'll see you guys next time.